Hello students, the topic is transmission medium. In transmission medium, basically we will discuss what are the different sort of the mediums, uh, what are the guided medium, what are the unguided mediums we use for the transmission of the data information or media. So here we are having some sender and we are having the receiver. So if a sender wants to send some data or information to the receiver or from the source to the destination node so he must be having some transmission medium in order to make that efficient conveyance of that data or information so we are having different classes of transmission medium so it is divided into two classes the one is guided and the second one is unguided the guided medium is the wired one and the unguided medium is the wireless mm -hmm. So then there are uh, other categories of the guided or wired medium. The first one is twisted pair cable, second coaxial cable and the third is fiber optic cable. And in case of the unguided wireless medium, we are having free space. So in free space, uh, that uh, information or media will flow because of the electromagnetic waves or infrared rays or we will discuss in detail earlier. So this is the definition, the guided media, which are those that provide a conduit from one device to another include. So these are the different um, types of the wires used. So let us discuss them in detail. The first one is the twisted pair cable. So this is the internal structure of the twisted pair cable. Here you are saving them. Here you can see that the outer layer is the insulator and inside that is the conductor. That is some sort of the wire, right? Now, uh, here is the plastic cover unshielded and you can see there are two uh, types of further of the twisted pair cable unshielded twisted pair cable and the shielded where this twisted pair cable right so the one is shielded and the second is unshielded so here in case of the unshielded twisted pair cable you can see that there is only the plastic cover over the conductors or the, and the insulators but here in case of the shared or uh, in case of the shielded twisted pair cable there is a metal shield over the uh, insulator and conductor and then we are having the plastic cover over it but this metal shield is not present in case of the unshielded twisted pair cable right so this is the difference between the unshielded twisted pair cable and the shielded twisted pair cable now the next is optical fiber in a case of optical uh, fiber you can see that there are different colors in the inside this is the plastic covering this is the core and we will discuss in detail that there is one cladding in it now this is the uh, this is the structure of the optical fiber you can see here that the, on the one end we are having the sender on the other end we are having the receiver and in between we are having the core and this is the cladding on the both sides right so this is the covering the cladding so this will so if a sender wants to make an efficient conveyance of the data or information he wants to send here we make use of another mechanism that is called as total internal reflection right so you can see that this data is not going straight it is internally reflected totally right so the mechanism used to make it possible that is total internal reflection so the signal should not go out from this uh, the medium or also this cladding will make sure that the signal not goes out of this medium right so that is why we are having a very high signal strength or the bandwidth in case of the optical fiber so this here are two things making it possible the one is the cladding the covering of the optical fiber and the second is the mechanism making it possible that is total internal reflection now the next is propagation modes what are the different types of the modes we can have in order to propagate the beam of the light right so mod what is the mod a path that is followed by the beam of light that is mod right then we can say that how many types of modes we can have we can have the single modes or the multi modes then in case of multi modes we are having two categories the first is step index and the other second one is graded index so what is the difference between the step index and the graded index in the case of the step index the refractive index remains constant but in graded index the refracted index varies right so this was the difference between them here you can see the different types of the fiber types uh, the type 150 by 125 here we are having the 
score of the 50.0 micrometer cladding 125 mod what mod we can use in it right or they provide to us so these are different types of the fiber types right now the unguided media that is the wireless so how is it working right the unguided media transport electromagnetic waves without using a physical conductor right so we are not using any sort of the physical conductor in it but it is a wireless media or the wireless medium making you uh, the efficient uh, transmission of the media through the electromagnetic waves right so this is also called as a wireless communication now you can see that electromagnetic spectrum for wireless communication right so here is the bandwidth the most stronger one are the radio waves and the microwaves having the range or the bandwidth between 3 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz infrared having the range 300 to 400 gigahertz to tetrahertz and then the light waves 400 tetrahertz to the 900 tetrahertz right so these are the ranges what are the propagation methods so these are the different layers of the atmosphere ionosphere right so the ground propagation sky propagation and the line of sight propagation so below is their range also given you can take a look at that next we are having another table that is of the bands which we can use there are the different sort of the bands of the low frequency at the high frequency there is the range their propagations and what are their applications so no need to discuss them in detail just take an overview of it right the next is wireless transmission waves other than the electromagnetic waves what are the wireless transmission waves that are the radio waves microwaves and the infrared waves right so let us discuss their functions radio waves are used for the multicast communication what are the multicast communication that are the radio television and the paging system uh, for all these we use radio waves microwaves are used for the unicast communication like cellular telephone satellite networks and wireless lands local area networks right now infrared signals can be used for the short range communication in a closed area using line of sight propagation right so where uh, we are having the short range communication we make use of the infrared uh, signals so this was all about the transmission mediums we discussed the both wired and unwired mediums in this lecture.